Well, to test the bite force system, I have a fancy setup, as you can see here, which consists of various antennas. And I will have the ground station positioned in this exact orientation right here, on Google Map, where the purple pin is. So this twin array of triple feed patches provides 100 degrees of horizontal beam width, which should cover this area here that I'm going to fly in. And I will fly all the way to the end where the road is and make a U-turn. Once I pass myself, I will fly to the other side of the field, which will be covered by this 8dB RRC patch antenna. On top of the two directional antennas, I do have the Omni. I have a Pagoda as well as a higher gain Omni antenna, which is the stack fan and both should provide all-round coverage of the area that I'm flying in. In my last video where I did the comparison between the DJI FPV digital system and my Connex ProSight system, basically the Connex flew right to about here. So I'm going to test the same and try to see if the bite frost will go past this point here. All right, that's all for my antenna setup. I'm gonna head to the field for the actual flight. All right, here I am at the field and basically I've swapped the two directional antennas across because there's something which I wasn't expected that is the HDMI out getting in the way of this small patch. So I had to put the patch here and the twin array over here, which means that I will have the twin array cover that field over there and the patch will cover this part of the field. Well, uh, here's my mini bike frost or bike frost mini. There's nothing much to say really about the frame. It's an old frame, about 145 mm in size. This on my palm. Basically, there are two cameras. The camera on the bottom is a Mobius and is protected in heat string make it really light for recording 1080p all right let's fly this thing
Now that was a quick test of the Bite Frost Mini. I hope you liked the video. And basically, first thoughts are, it outperforms my Connex Pro side in terms of range and in terms of video degradation. So I'm really happy with the purchase. In comparison to the DJI FPV digital system, it's really subjective how the individual would choose the DJI over the fact chart or the fact chart over DJI. For me, I chose the Bite Frost because it allows me to build micro quads like this one here, which is less than 185 grams. And the fact that it has a single antenna makes it easy to mount it and keep the small form factor. Of course, it's fragile just like the DJI one. So over here, I'm using rubber band to hold it in place so that it doesn't pop off during a crash. As for future developments, I would like to see the Bite Frost support HD systems like this camera, which is the Nano Nerd Cam, uh, which a lot of people use it on their Mini Whoop. It'd be nice to have HD or 720p stereoscopic experience during FPV. Also, the antenna that I have used, this twin array, if you notice, these are commercially made triple fit patches, but they are faced together using this pleater. So I made a video on how to face two antennas. Do check out that video and also check out my previous video of the flight comparison between the DJI FPV digital system versus the Connex Pro side. Alright, that's all I have and thank you for watching.